Dude, what's got you so chipper? I'm a gunkle. My sister had a kid, so I'm finally a gay uncle. Oh, fun. My family just calls me the drunkle. Um, because of your substance, substance abuse, abuse problems? Yeah. 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 Well, you're still a gunkle. I mean, don't you have so much fun with your nieces? You keep saying that word gunkle like it's a thing. Yeah, it's not a thing. Oh, it's definitely a thing. Being a gay uncle is a very important special responsibility. Your nieces, my nephew, they're always going to look up to us to be the most fun at parties, to get the best birthday gifts, to have the sassiest comebacks, to give the best advice on uh, clothing and dating, and to always expose them to the best music and movies. We are the only adults that will always relate to them on their level. See, I don't like this being called an adult thing. Of course not. It's our perpetual adolescence that they most respect about us. Mm. I do listen to more Taylor Swift than most 30-year-olds I know. I am a 32-year-old man. I don't even have a driver's license. Oh, I don't even have a savings account, and I spend all my paychecks on ironic t-shirts and alcohol. Well, I've never even held a job for longer than five months. Well, my credit card debt keeps me up most nights, which is the reason why I drink. It's a vicious cycle. Well, that's the spirit! Mm. But don't you think that like being a mentor to a young person just reminds you of the fact that you're aging? Of course not. Being a gunkle is not just a one-way street, my friend. I mean, having a young person to relate to keeps me on track of all the latest trends in youth culture. Being a gunkle is like, it's like being a sexy vampire who absorbs the youth of whoever I'm near. Ooh, like Madonna. Who? I, I got that from my nephew. He doesn't know who Madonna is either. Huh. But you said he was born yesterday. Madonna is so two days ago. Refill. What the hell are you two doing? Playing the Steam Room Stories drinking game. <laughs> the Steam Room Stories drinking game? How do I not know about this? It's new. One of the fans inspired it when they were watching the DVDs, invited their friends over for some beers. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I want in. Uh, how does it work? Well, you watch the first 99 episodes of Steam Room Stories, starting from episode one, and you follow the rules. Well, that sounds awesome. I'm gonna text my buddies about this. Oh! <laughs> now what are you guys doing? Cell phone. Every time a guy brings out a cell phone, time to drink. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that sounds so great. Do you guys have an extra booze for me? <laughs> you know I do. Here, this is for you. Okay, well how much do I owe you? <gasps> Money! <laughs> Another drink. <laughs> Hell, I'm gonna like this. <sighs> Wait till you see what you gotta do when two guys make out in an episode. Well, I'm gonna ask them to bring more friends. Mm, I'll drink to that. Mm.